In this video, we are going to show you how to use watercolor pencils. As you can see, I have already pre-drawn the apple and I am going to be using these three colors on the apple. I am going to layer in the colors one by one and going to use the lightest layer first and then build up to the darkest layer. Here I am going to be using the cadmium yellow, the orange and the red and crimson to start building in and adding brown for the shadow portions. So, I am also going to use a lighter brown for the uh, shadow beneath the apple. You, what you have to remember over here is you have to start layering in the colors very lightly. Do not apply too much pressure on the pencils otherwise with water it will spread too much. So, Put in one layer upon the other starting with the yellow, the orange and finally the red following the curve of the apple. Remember to leave the highlight in the center portion. Go over it with yellow once again to give it a little bit of brightness. I am adding a little red to make it a little darker. I am blending in the brown in the first layer itself so I am putting in the brown for all the cast shadow portions on top on bottom and go going over it with red now I am going to do the grapes and I am going to start the grapes with the ochre and add in the green on top you just remember to use the colors very lightly as you are applying layer upon layer. You are applying 2-3 layers on one portion. Apply the brown in portions where there is shadow. I prefer applying the browns in the first layer before I apply water. But if, if you are not, if you wish, you can add brown after the wash. Fill in the color beneath the object. Add the cast shadow with brown. Add very little color because the color will spread with water. Now I am going to start washing the apple by using 2-3 different kinds of brushes. Keep a rag ready always to blot in the extra water. Start with the lightest color near the highlight and keep loading your brush with a little water and start spreading the lightest color first. Blend it to the medium color that is the orange. Keep the brush a little watery so the layer beneath does not dry and one color blends within the other color. Very carefully blend in the colors, make sure the dark colors do not go towards the lighter colors. When you move to the dark color, wash your brush and then come back to the lighter color. In the grapes, start with the center of the grape in the lightest portion and slowly move towards the outer. Now we are going to do the background and we are trying to use a bigger brush loading more water than usual. So to keep the blend smooth and not patchy. Start by doing the outline of the apple and then slowly blend the colors with a bigger brush, You loading it with enough water. Start by doing the lighter portions of the foreground, coming towards the cast shadow beneath the apple.
and fade out the colors on the outer edge. After this dries you can always add more color pencils to get a brighter look and then go over the water once again. So here I am adding a little more brown to some portions so that I can get a deeper color. You can wait for it to dry before you add the colors and then blend it with water.